Okay, anyone else like to try something? Yes. You're back, okay. Come right on up here. Anytime, if any of y'all are learning this, you build the energy up once you learn about it. If you're back there, you place the person right there. Okay. So I try to teach people this. You know, everybody's got a brain up here. It controls magnetic fields. Just start doing it. The best way to start doing it is just experience it a little bit and then play with it. Feel that going in there? I, I feel a strange, um, just, a, I would say, like a wave, mm -hmm. a light wave. It's, it's a light not, wave. It's not really tingling, but it's almost a, a, like a, a wave of air. Mm hmm And it's increasing now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and crank it up. Okay, you're going to get warm. <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to fart now. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. Not in close proximity. All right, we ain't doing that. All right. I don't think everybody knows that joke yet. Oh, we were talking about that earlier. He'll, he'll fit in on that. Yeah, I used to have a, a mis very mischievous side to me when I was a kid. And when you got a toy like this, you can do things and get away with it. Anyhow, but, well, I'll give that story as we go here, maybe. But anyhow, as a kid learning this stuff, my grand grandmother did it to me all the time, but she read scripture every time she did it. Okay? But as a baby, I didn't know what those words meant, but yet I could feel the energy and all. So as I was growing up, I had to go to church every time the doors opened. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and every Bible school that came to town. It drove me up the wall. So by the time I was 14, our church had two stories, the youth set upstairs in the balcony and the older people down below. And me being the mischievous kid I was and the kind of friends I had down there in the country, they always put me up to stuff. So I would look down there, we'd pick somebody out. Hey, her, okay. I'd lock in on them, I'd do like this. And when I'd do this, they'd fart. <laughs> One time I did it, eight of them farted at once down there. <laughs> Two of them had to get up and leave the church. <laughs> Somebody told the preacher I did that. So what, sure me? Didn't burn a cross in your yard. <laughs> oh, they about did. <laughs> no, they had a little talk with me. You can't do that, man. You just can't do that here. <laughs> no. Yes? Cure the pain, cure the cause that causes the pain. For instance, I have a, a lower lumbar that's out, out of alignment, I guess, on my own, all my life. Mm -hmm. Maybe a quarter of an inch or something. Mm -hmm. And it causes a lot of pain. Uh huh. You can take the pain away, but then if the bone doesn't move back in place, why don't you just come back? Come down here and let's try something. Okay, how's that feel? Yeah. Come on down. I can't stand it when people are in pain. Work on her left shoulder. Okay. Will do. Anyhow, like I say, I've had a wild life in this energy. Let's sit down over here. Wait, where is it at in here? I don't know which one it is. Okay, you didn't just sit down. Let's not worry about which one it is. Put your feet out there. All right, feel that? It takes just a second to get locked in. All right, you're back warming now. Uh-huh. Hold your hands like that and that'll help pull the circuit right up through you. All right, lock them in. And neat thing, I can go right through the chair with it. All right, how's the back feeling there? You feel that? Mm -hmm. Warming up in there? Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit more. All right, now do me a favor. Get up and walk over yonder and back to me.
Feeling better? Yeah. Okay, now sit back down and hold the energy and play with it a little bit while we're finishing up here. And uh, that should lock it out good. You're sure you're just holding? You're hurting? I can't have you hurt. Come here. Come on down. Or just I'll come up there. Here. You come on down? Okay. All righty. Okay, be okay. Where you want me? I'll sit down in the chair up here. All right. Let's see if we can't run a little electricity through your shoulders here. Right. So are they hurting right through here? Yeah, all the way up. All the way up. Okay. You just relax. What I always try to do is like heat the body. Basically, I'm vibrating at such a rate right here. The heating effect seems to make the pain just go right away. All right, is that warming up a little? The pain easing off a little bit? Yeah, I want to get everybody where they're not in pain. We can talk a little bit better here when nobody's hurting, right? Thank you. All right, let me get it through your feet just a little bit. Send it up through there. You must be feeling better. She's smiling. Okay. All right. Now I go up here and sit down and just relax. All right. And keep smiling. <laughs> Thank you, know? you. Okay. Okay. Well, Bill, would you like to talk any about what we did today for a minute? Okay. And then we'll uh, kind of go on a little bit better and description about what this is all about here. Um. Now John Cruth mentioned this before that we tested Ed. The way in which we tested him was to measure light emission from the body. We don't know what this does. Maybe that's how he does his healing. But uh, it's in the blue invisible range of the spectrum. That's where our photomultiplier tube works. And so we have people in a dark room and we have a very sensitive photomultiplier and you can count photons. A photon is the smallest unit of light. And so it depends on the frequency. So the photons <coughs> in the blue UV range are what we're counting actually. Because one photon goes into the sensitive detector, dislodges another electron an electron from the sensitive surface, that dislodges still another and it keeps multiplying as it goes down the line. So you end up getting an appreciable current that you can measure for just one photon of light. So you can e easily distinguish between five photons or six photons. So a person in the dark room, the normal level is between about five and ten. And so we have tested people in meditation where they they meditate on healing and the level might go up to uh, 40 or 50 or 60. That's the best we've gotten in recent years. Tell them to stop meditating and it plunges back down to the original level. Well with Ed, I tested him in um, last November and we got levels of uh, 2,000 or more. So it's 210 more than normal baseline. Tested him again today, and we got even better than that. So uh, it, it's still working, whatever it is. It's, my energy is definitely increasing. I don't know what's really going on here, but I've known about something ever since I was a kid, 
and it's starting to really come in, into focus now. I got to interact with some other scientists around 1998 that allowed me to transmit this energy and then record it at various locations on the planet all at the same time. And we've got to do some really interesting things. But even then, they kept seeing through the years I'd worked with them an increase in the energy. So it's continually going up here. For what purpose, I don't know. I do know that it's increasing like crazy. I'm having a lot of fun learning about it, and I'm having a lot of fun going around healing and helping people with it and everything, but I still feel like there's even a higher purpose than that right now. Uh, yes, ma'am? Um, I have problems with cash registers, uh, Walmart. Uh, we had a few problems when I walk in ICU at Emory. Um, in the early days with computers, when they first came out, I used to just keep wiping my hard drives out. And we found out when I got, nowadays it don't bother them so bad, but the Windows 95 and the old, when they first came out, if I got both hands up by my computer, I, it blew holes in the hard drive. I mean, I spent, huh? You wear a watch. I don't. No. When, when you're working with someone who's trying to help you feel less pain, you know, it's a real life. Do you feel where that pain is? Yes. I get a sense. I get like a ghost imagery uh, back in my body, or sometimes, like if I'm doing long range healing on people. I create the image of a mannequin in my mind, and then this represents whoever, whatever I'm working on. And then through that, I get a feedback signal into myself. That's when I'm long range with people. And if I've got somebody just up in front of me, I can get ghost impressions of them in my body. I don't always, not always accurate. I don't try to focus on it because I try to bring the energy into where it's gonna work universally throughout the whole body. You know, so it may be hurting in your shoulders, but you may also have a problem back here in your knee that you don't even know about. But this energy knows. It'll get there and work on it all. What are you thinking? How do you turn this on and off when you Well, right here is Dr. Levingood kind of explaining that. Oh, I can't have my mic up there. But... When I turn it off, I get a flat baseline with it. Basically, I just pull the energy back in. Mentally, mentally I just shut down. I, I just try to calm down to nothing. But when I want to activate it, the brain controls the magnetic field. So I take from baseline, I go just like that. It's like an electromagnetic pulse. And when I start vibrating it, then it starts connecting with all the other energy. I'm not familiar with that. Oh yeah, I'm not familiar with it. I just, it's just as easy as walking for me. I can, Dr. Levingood that started out, he studied, worked with the Dalai Lama, with uh, Tibetan monks, yoga, Reiki masters. He's had them all tested on the equipment. Everybody else has to meditate to start bringing this stuff up. Me, I get a hold of the thing and it goes 800,000 microamps just like that and I'm able to bounce it back and forth like when I did the gravity waves with you, I learned how to do that on the equipment, being able to hold it straight DC negative or straight DC positive, above baseline. And I was able to watch my brain on that equipment right there. And being there and getting that instant feedback is when I started learning how, because I noticed in the lab once I'd flatline it and then hold it down to one side or the other, Dr. Levin would start leaning one way or he'd start <laughs> leaning the other way. You know, different people in there. So once I start focusing on it, I can make them wobble all around. 